invite Aaron to say a few special words for the bride and groom. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> hey, I was told to uh, keep it nice up here, and we know my style. That's not going to happen. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm going to keep it uh, short and sweet. Um, both of you guys, John, Karen, pretty much uh, came into our lives at the exact same time, and we've been through a lot of lows, but especially the highs. So, um, John, you're my uh, ride or die. You've had my back since day one, so congratulations to you both. I'm happy to be a part of this family. Thank you. Who's next? Oh, you want more? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't say those stories. There's kids here. <laughs> All right. Next up, Chance. Woo! Hello, everybody. My name is Chance. Fresh cut. Fresh cut of what? I've known John for probably going on ten years or so. We met working at Discount, and for the most part, I kept to myself until he told me to come hang out with him and his goofy friends, and we were hanging out all the time, going to the desert or lake or getting into trouble somewhere. And Karen was around for a lot of those, too. It's because of them I met my beautiful wife, Kirsten. So I'll forever be grateful to you guys for that. And grateful that you guys had me here to witness this beautiful night tonight. There's been a lot of family events where I've said, Hey, John, so uh, when are you guys going to get married? And same answer every time. Well, after you marry Kirsten first. So at my wedding, the target was locked right at him for the garter shot. He followed through. So thanks for having me here, guys. I wish you guys nothing but love and happiness. And cheers. Good job, bud. Congrats, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. All right, next up, Kirsten. Come on up, Kirsten. Hi. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Karen's younger sister, Kirsten. We had probably a pretty typical sibling relationship. She would beat me up, and I'd lock her out of the house when she would sneak out to get ice cream from McDonald's. So, um, it's typical. Our parents didn't want us walking around alone in the neighborhood growing up, so in, like, fifth grade, we would go to Kingswood Park. She'd drag me along so we could go watch John on his scooter. <laughs> And watching him on his scooter, I never thought that he would one day be my brother-in-law, Kingswood Park's little Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> you were such a great maid of honor to me at my wedding, Karen, so I hope I'm doing a good job returning the favor. It's been a really beautiful night. Great show you guys put on. Thank you to you guys. Let's hear it for them. For the parents of the bride and groom for contributing so much. It's been a beautiful evening. And I just want to end the night with some well wishes for you two. May you always uplift and encourage each other and make your dreams come true together. May your days be filled with love and laughter, and may you live happily ever after. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Bagley. All right, next, Kelly, come on up. Kelly. Hello everyone, I'm Karen's youngest sister Kelly and her maid of honor. Uh, what can I say that my sister Kirsten already hasn't said? Uh, to be honest, me and Karen fought more than we got along growing up, uh, but it was all over reasonable things like her playing Justin Bieber in the car, or who got to go on the computer next. Um, so our parents always told us that we were more similar than we wanted to admit. Uh, but now that we're both grown up, I'm able to love and appreciate her as a sister in a whole new way. Uh, so, of course, I remember sixth grade John on his scooter at Kingswood Park, but I also remember seeing you guys when you found your way back to each other and telling you that one day you were going to get married. So, I'm so happy to be able to be seeing that day now and being a part of it as well. 
So I wish nothing but love, happiness, and prosperity for you guys and your beautiful family. <laughs> so cheers to the bride and groom. And next, let's bring on up Susan. Susan, come on up. <laughs> okay, so they just told me I'm the last one, so I hope I do good. So I'm going to go down memory lane just a little bit. It all started about four and a half years ago when John was driving through Taco Bell and pointed at me and said, you must be the blonde girl Aaron's talking about. And I thought to myself, who the hell is this guy? Who would have thought that all these years down the road we'd be here talking at his wedding? I could have never guessed that. Shortly after that, Aaron and I were introduced to his girlfriend Karen and after that, we moved into the same apartment complex. And we should have all known that's where it should have ended, but no, it didn't. We started to hang out and get to know each other. And I thought these could be some really great friends. Okay, come here. I got gotcha. you. I have a little guest with me. Then came the San Diego trip. The trip was for Karen's birthday, and during that trip I knew. I knew that this crazy couple that dragged us all the way to San Diego, California, that they weren't friends anymore, they were family. And from there on, everything just clicked. All the way from late, now, late night hangouts and talks, where plenty of emotion was shared, to crazy nights at Uptown and Westgate, to many, many recommendations given. But what made John and Karen the best friends we always waited for was seeing them walk through my hospital room with a giant burger from Carl's Jr. after I had just given birth to my son. And then I thought to myself, I can't get rid of them now. Now that you're a married man, John, I hope this means that yours and Aaron's bromance is finally over. <laughs> but knowing the two of you, I know it isn't. Nor will it ever be. But if that means keeping Karen as close to me as I possibly can, then I'll take it all. Karen, you've been the best friend I've always asked for. Someone I can be my crazy, silly, and a bit dramatic and emotional self with. And I look forward to our yearly updated photos of our little ones. And I want to thank you every day for coming into my life. I love you both so much, and I'm so happy for the two of you, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Speaking of future, just let you guys know this is my favorite part. Let's all raise our glasses and give it up for the beautiful, stunning, Absolutely breathtaking, gorgeous bride, and okay looking groom, Mr. and Mrs. Begley. I love you guys. <laughs> 